Good morning to all and all. I am Padmavati. As a continuation of the last video, today we are going to see how to run the RMI application, especially the prime number application. Okay. Last class we have seen how to create the RMI application. For that, we have created four notepad application. One is interface application. This is prime inter and then another one is implementation application under the name prime input. The next one is server side, last one is client application. So today we are going to see how to run these applications. Okay. First of all, we have to open the command prompt. In the command prompt, we have to go to the directory where the JVM is. So, JVM is under a P colon. Uh, and then uh, here, I am having the files in the uh, prime S2. So, we have to go to that directory CD, JDK, and then this is password. And then the S2. Next one is uh, we just set the path here. Set the path is equal to JDK one point six. And then I can run all the program under the directory prime is two, so I can do the command which I was see. As to stop job. So we can run all the program under the application. So since there is no error in that application, it will compile the successfully. And the next step is we have to start the registry, RMA registry. Since the name of the object is noted by the uh, service name, that name is kept in the table node. That table is stored in the RMA registry. The client will look up the table only. So that we have to, this is a, act as an intermediator between a server and client. So we have to start the RMA registry plan. Start the RMA registry. Okay. So, open now my EX application. So we just minimize the text. Then we will start the server. So the server, start the server, Java, Prime Server. So the server is started. Then open another command prompt for running the client application. CD, JDK, and So, given that is fine, since we have given the input in that uh, program itself, no? so we have given the input uh, uh, 5. So, uh, I am changing the input as 6. So, what I am to gain, what I am to is clear. I have to save the program and then compile it to start the program with this trick and run the prime server. So, the next one is scaled. Thank you. We will run the client. So, give another is different programs for it here. So, when you want to give the input in the runtime way, so we can give the input in command line of the picture by doing so. Yes. 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 
Dia satu zero. Instead of the number, can do the variable k. In your hand, it is a variable k. And then, once again, you compile the computation. Compile all the program. It's too far, and then just show k. And then, it's a. Next. And the planet here, by giving the input, it will come. So it's working. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I want to clarify with you that is, since the server on the client reside in the open system, I am straight away using the service claim here. If the server is residing in another system once, in this case, we have to give the IP address of that server. Okay, since it is in the same system, local host, I am giving the service name unknown here. But if you are connecting the server in the other system, then you have to give the IP address of that system with the port name. Then only it will Run the object of that other system. Okay, here I am using, I didn't use it, any address here because client and server resides in, resides in one system. So I didn't use any uh, IP address or anything here. That's the reason. Okay, if it is another system, so you have to do that. So they are to you. Okay. By using this application, we can run any program, we can find any program, then assignment you can uh, find uh, whether a given number is R or A. Okay, try, try yourself. Thanks for watching my video. Thank you very much.